Hello, this question was on the quiz and there's a lot of uh, misunderstandings about how to explain the answers. So that's what this video is about. Here is the question. Um, well, everyone's numbers were different, but here's a, an example of the question. In a survey, 21 people were asked how much they spent on their child's birth, last birthday gift. The results were roughly bell shaped with a mean of $43 and a standard deviation of $4. Construct a confidence interval at the 99% confidence level. And now the answer, which I'm not going to explain because that's not the point of this video, the answer was computed to be $43 with a margin of error plus or minus $2.50, or if you add and subtract the margin of error, $40.50 to $45.50. Okay, now this video explains how to explain that answer right there. So here's the interpretation. Uh, there's three main points I want to make. The first is, the, what does the 99% part mean? So the 99% is a statement about probability. Uh, in other words, you're 99% sure or 99% confident of whatever answer you give. Here's the answer you give right here. You're 99% sure that that answer contains the real population mean, whatever that is. All right, uh, or you can say say it like this using this this, these calculations of calculating standard error, et cetera, et cetera, um, that technique will give you a 99% success rate or 99 times out of 100, the, the interval you compute will contain the true population mean. Now, if you actually did 100 different samples and 100 different cal calculations, you're not going to get this interval every single time. Every single time your interval is different because every single time your sample mean is different. But 99 out of 100% of those intervals would have the real population mean inside somewhere. All right, now this 99% does not mean 99% of the population. Um, some, some students wrote things like 99% of the parents spent between 40 and $45 or uh, something like that, uh, or 99% of, of the parents had some other thing. Uh, no, that 99% is only about the probability. Okay, the second point I want to make is the interval, the $40.50 to $45.50, is a statement about the mean. It's not a proportion. Uh, some students said that 99% of the parents or um, or uh, something like that. Uh, the this means that the population mean is somewhere in in between uh, these numbers. Um, it's not a range. Don't say parents spent between four dollars fifty and forty five dollars fifty cents. That's that's not what this is about either. Um, it, it's well in a sense it's a range of possible values that we think the the population mean might be but it's not a range of actual values that parents actually spent. So, and that's the third point. Uh, it's not actual values. So you don't say um, parents spent between these amounts. Um, some parents could have spent $100. Some maybe spent only $5, but it's on average, they, the sample was $43. And on average, we think the population mean is somewhere in this range right there. All right, the third point is, the interval 40 and a half to 45 and a half dollars is a statement about the population. Um, it means that you're 99% sure or confident that the mean of the whole population, which could be millions of parents, maybe your population is all parents in the United States or something like that, and you had a random sample of 30 parents. Um, the sample is a tool to estimate something about the population that that's the way to think about it we don't really care about the sample itself we care about what can we infer about the whole population so um we're we're saying that the sample mean of the whole population is most likely in between 40 and a half to 45 and a half dollars um and this interval is not a statement about the sample uh, we're 100 percent sure about the sample mean that was $43. It, it says so right there. It says um, the results were roughly bell shaped with a mean of 43. So we're 100% sure about that. That's actual data. But we're trying to come up with an estimate for the population. That's the whole point of doing a sample in the first place.
And so I, I made up a little script that you can follow here um, for this, for pretty much any confidence interval of any quantitative variable, um, you can say this, I am blank confidence level, you know, 90, 99, 95, whatever, a certain percentage uh, confident that the mean, whatever, amount of money, height, weight, age, whatever, of the population, parents, uh, you know, mi middle-aged, uh, uh, middle-aged um, people living in Oregon, whatever it is, whatever your population is, is between the lower limit that you calculated and the upper limit of the of the interval that you calculated. Uh, for example, here's how I would say the confidence interval um, for for this for this question right here uh, about the 21 people who were asked about the child's birthday. Um, I would say. I'm 99% confident that the mean amount of money that parents spend on their child's birthday present, so all that's the, that's the variable there, the amount of money uh, spent on the birthday present, um, out of the entire population of parents is between $40.50 and $45.50.